Hi everyone, this is Anand from Team Amiboids and in this quick video, I'm going to talk about our newest app, ScreenJar Screen Recorder for Jira. Let's begin. So I've navigated to a dummy issue that I created just for the sake of this demo. You'll notice we already have installed the ScreenJar app and you can easily call that out by looking at this blue icon over here. When I click on that icon, it will basically generate a screen recorder link specific to this issue and for the logged in user. So what it has done is it has created a link and open it in a new tab. That's how the new tab appears. You don't have to install anything, no extensions, nothing is required. The screen recording feature works out of the box for all of the latest versions of famous browsers. You'll also notice as the message spells out, you're going to record your screen for Jira issue AR1283. As an end user, you can start recording the screen right away. You can also enable my microphone audio to be captured as part of the screen recording session. I'll start the screen recording here. Now it's going to prompt me about which part of the screen do I want to record? I'll just keep this to entire screen and you'll notice the recording has begun. I don't have to do anything else. I can explain the entire thing. So for example, if you're trying to explain the steps to reproduce a bug, you'll basically do, do the entire thing right within the scope of Jira. Now imagine once you have explained everything, it's time for you to come back to this page and stop recording. Once you do it, you'll notice saving video. You can review the video that you have created. The video lasts for 24 seconds that you can see here. And now the only thing you need to do is click on upload to Jira issue. You can see the message video is queued to upload and will be attached to Jira issue shortly. Let's go back to this page wait for a couple of minutes and the attachment will appear automatically within Jira issue. While it happens in the background, let's also understand how ScreenJar lets your Jira service management customers utilize this feature. So what I've done is I've navigated to the customer portal, opened up one of the requests that I'm involved in, and you'll notice there is the ScreenJar button or icon on the customer portal as well. So your end users, the Jira service management customers and service desk agents can utilize this button to generate a link where you can record your screen and upload the video automatically to the JSM tickets. Anything that you do using this link will be visible to the customers. Now let's go back to the Jira issue that we were looking at for which we had tried to record a video. And let's see if the attachment is now available in the form of an MP4 document. Let's wait while the page loads. The good thing is recording is captured as an MP4 file. So you don't necessarily have to download it just to view it. You can view the entire recording right from within the Jira's attachment section. So you'll notice there was no attachment earlier. One seems to be available now. Let's wait while it loads. All right, it seems the video was uploaded. Now let's click on the play button just to ensure the screen recording is available. So while the page loads, you would have realized how easy it becomes for anyone to record their screen and, and attach the videos directly as MP4 files to Jira tickets, to Jira issues. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.